Welcome to my channel, where cringy intros are cringy. Yes, hello today. Look, we've got Legends Limited Fierce Battle. Let's finish this family. It's a Legends Limited Goten. They're going to be giving us that unit, which is going to be great. We're going to love it. And uh, I hate this little shit so much. So how do you play this? So first we want to get uh, Super Saiyan Gohan team. So how you do that, you do uh, battles 1 to 5 and you get the Z power from that. We we'll have to see also like whether you have to complete all the challenges in order to get that or not. But we'll see. Then you're going to limit break the boy because you're going to want to also be able to, uh, you know, get more stars on him because that's going to be super important. Finally, you're going to want to clear the challenge battle. And this is going to give you some other things. So basically... You're just doing a whole bunch of things in order for you to unlock these units. So with that being said, you're going to see now exactly what I mean when we play. I haven't started yet, so we're going to start right now and we'll just get started. So one thing to note is that the units that I have here, I have all of the units already. And that's only because I've been playing for a long time. So that would be why. Now... I uh, I could do all of these, but we're not going to worry about this right now. Although, to complete it with two kids, just find any two kids within a category, and then one girl character as well. And if you can do it within the Dimash of the 3 million Rising Rush, do that. Uh, right now, we're just going to really focus on going through the event, just step by step. But make sure to complete all the stars. Do not leave... leave complete all the challenges. Do not leave any of them not golden. So... You, I'll show you guys what I mean about that in a bit. Uh, but we're going to actually go through this, take a look at what's going on, and go from there. And for the further of these events and further steps, I'm going to be cutting out some of this, like, gap stuff. Just so that way we get to the fights one after another, okay? So with that being said, let's begin. So I am going to wait till... Okay, there we go. Beautiful. And now we're going to look for balls, because I do want to get that three million... Okay, that is not... No, this is not conducive to what I want. Where are my balls? There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna just charge up real quick. Ratatatata. They give him the cha-cha. Okay, we're gonna do a clash. So we're gonna do that. Oh, I messed that up so bad. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I lost. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. It is what it is. Alright, give him the big chow. I'm really trying to not kill my opponent. Alright, let me see if I can... I'm trying to also get this Rising Rush in. So, don't mind me. I, I'm, ju I'm just being a little extra. Maybe a little bit more extra than I need to be. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, there we go. Got the Rising. Okay, so now we're good. We're good to go. So what's going to happen next is I'm going to Ratata, followed by the Cha-Cha, and we're going to give him the Big Kachow, and that will be that. All right, so I should have switched my characters before I did this Rising, but eh? if this turns out to be not worth it, then <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. All righty, uh, 6.7. Okay, so that was definitely worth it. I'm very glad about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Goku, just, just shush. Okay. So make sure that when you're doing these challenges, that you go back and complete them all the way. Most likely in the missions, they're going to really request that you actually do that. So be aware. All right. So I would have to do it with two kids and one girl character. I can easily set that up later. But for now, we're just going to keep going and we're going to go from there. Okay. So let's take a look. I believe it's going to be the same stuff. Yeah. So just generally speaking, it's the idea of like kid trunks, kid go 10 and then Android 18. Kind of like just as an idea. All right. So, let's just skip to the fight, and I'll see you right there. Okay, so we are going to be doing that Rising Rush thing again. But we're going to switch, obviously, to Gohan when we do that Rising, because there's really no reason why we don't do it that way. All right, there we go. Yup, yup, yup. All right. Just one more. One more, one more. Thank you. Big Kachow. And finish it off. And that's a definitive, for sure, dead Broly. Okay, so this Borley's dead. We're going way above the 3 million mark, so that, that's cool. 
All right, give him the big kachow. See, I remember when these guys first came out and they shafted me so hard. <laughs> but now I have them all because it's been so many. It's been basically three years. Well, or two years, better to say, because they came out just roughly around either before first Annie or just right after. I don't remember exactly, but I remember them shafting me. All right, limit break. <clears throat> Eight stars. Okay. <laughs> All right, and let's move on to the next fight. All right, so we're here, so let's begin. <clears throat> so once again, we're just going to work through it. But like I said, realistically, what you should probably be doing is you should be using specifically um, two kids. So like Kid Goten, Kid Trunks, and then Android 18 or any female unit you have. Just so you can do all of the requirements uh, in one shot. That way you don't have to do play this event more than once each. And that's going to make your life so much easier. Honestly, uh, there's not much else to say about that other than that. Really, it's just like, make your life easier. I, I, I'm just picking these units because, well, I didn't know beforehand, you know? All right, we're going to switch over. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to do this. Okay. That's no bueno, so we're going to switch over. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, come on, come on, do something. Attack, thank you. Oh my gosh, I messed up. Okay, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then we're going to give him the kachow. It's fine, it's, it's totally fine. We got this. Uh, this little shit. Okay, yup, 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 yup. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alrighty, so this this boy is done. So you make sure that when you're doing this particular event, get those <laughs> th that Z power, and then train this Gohan up, okay? Because you're definitely going to need him for the event, at least in terms of for those of you that are new to this game. If you're not new to this game, then in that case, you most likely won't need the new Gohan, um, at least in regards to like the difficulty of it. All right, so it says three hybrids, clear without rising rush, then clear with the rising rush. Ah, oh, man, they're making you do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play with three hybrids. I can do that. That's easy. And we're going to do it without the rising rush. I'll come back and finish it with the rising rush later. Uh, it's actually going to be faster anyways that way, as it is. So we're going to do the triple hybrids. That'll clear more than less, so that's going to be nice. So yeah, they're going to make you do like particular teams, so just make sure to have your team set. So, yeah, just, just letting you know. All right, here we go. Okay. One. Two. Yeah. Yeah. And this is obviously from the, uh, the Broly movie when uh, he came to Earth. So, the second time. So, not the first time. It, it, it's... Uh, it, Non-canon movies. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. We did it. That's nice. And we got everything except for obviously the three million. So we're just going to keep moving on. Yep. All right. Are we here yet? No, it's again three hybrids. So let's do it. So it's the same thing. Just keep doing that and just pow, plow right through. Alternatively, if you're struggling, you know, again, I'm going to put in the description below the drift method uh, or as a lot of people call it, the float step. I'm going to give you the beginners and the advanced guides to how to beat the AI when it's being a butt. But realistically, this event shouldn't be too hard. At least with these beginning stages shouldn't be too, too hard. All right, uh, I'll take it. It's fine. I Normally, you shouldn't actually just launch cards at them immediately, but I'm, I'm being a little lazy here. All right, here we go. So... Okay, that's fine. We're going to ta ta then we're going to give him the cha-cha. Okay, it's going to be a clash, so hopefully I can beat him in that clash. I mess up. Uh, he messed up even harder, so it doesn't actually matter. Okay, cool. It's That's riveting. We're going to do that. Okay, so he heals. Okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay. All right, we're going to go forward. And we're going to charge up because we need to. And then we're going to just finish him off and that should be that yep there we go yeah that was that's super simple so obviously having this gohan does make your life easy 
Again, I already had him at seven stars, but for those of you that don't have him, you're going to get him and then just make sure to soul boost him and just keep him alive. Keep him alive and you'll you'll do fine. Trust me. All right, here we go. So now we actually have our three pathways, which is awesome. So let's take a look at what this one is. This is once a day <clears throat> or maybe it's not once a day. Yeah, it's one time a day. All righty. So let's uh, let's do it. So let's take a look and see how difficult this actual, this part of the event is. So we can just take a look, okay? So let's see. One, two, three. Let's pick those ones since those are the boost units. Uh, realistically, do you need all three of these boost units? No. Uh, just the Gohan alone will suffice. You can also use a mono blue team. You can use any meta team you like. Uh, there's a lot that you can do with this. You don't have to, you don't have to, uh use the boost units oh what whoa this is super easy oh my gosh okay okay this is yeah the, okay good this doesn't re you just you can just run gohan and that'd be enough <laughs> so that's good that's good that's good to know all right so we completed that yep so we grab that we grab all the cc that this gives us that's nice and we move on. All right. So we did that one time. Uh, this is the equip. So let's take a look and see how difficult this guy is. If he's not too difficult, then great. If he is, well, I'll, get, I'll help you out with how to beat it. But for the most part, this should be pretty simple. The same things over and over again. Drift, attack, drift, attack, uh, dodge, go blast. Unless you're tap attacking. If you tap attack after your dodge, go strike usually. It depends on the opponent's blue card. The AI blue card, that will decide a lot. So this one's a little tougher. And in term, and when I say a little tougher, I just mean it has one bar more than the uh, one on the right. So that's the only thing about this unit. So we're going to just give him the big ratata, and then he's dead. There we go. Done. Finito. Finished. Dead. All right. So we, we did that. That was pretty simple. And then we're going to go back onto the path and see what's left of this event already. But generally speaking, it shouldn't be too difficult to clear, even if you are a new player. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's take a look. We got the challenge battle. All righty. This is going to give us a somewhat copy of this dude. Yeah, it should give. Yeah, it will give us a copy of him, but it will be, I think, zero stars or maybe one. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to double check. Well, well, we'll figure it out very quickly. All right. So for this, I am going to drop the Goten just in case, just so we can see, is it doable without the Goten, which I'm pretty sure it is. But just in case, we I want to see just because I don't really enjoy using boost units. It's not even because I don't like having boost units. It's more so I just like seeing it. Is there other ways to win these events? Okay. So yes, he's got what looks to be quite a bit of health so for this one specifically you're gonna want to know how to do specific move sets it shouldn't be too difficult even if you don't you could do the regular side step into a charge step and then you can just go into them yep i'm gonna now just drift to the side and this is gonna give me my vanish gauge back which is super important and then we're gonna do a perfect vanish there we go Give him the big ka-chow. Yeah, no. No, no, no. No, I said it. we're giving you the big ka-chow. Ooh, I was off time. So that's the thing that can happen when you uh, come off time. So we're just going to see. So obviously my Gohan can tank. Not everyone's Gohan will be able to tank. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to do this. And we're going to break him. So make sure that if your Gohan is in trouble... To just save them. All right, so we got nine. Got it. Okay. We're gonna go in. Nope. We're gonna go green, and we're gonna do rising rush. We just want to get the extra damage in, and we'll go blast. And this should kill, but just in case it doesn't, I'm ready to do a, either a swap Rooney or alternatively. Uh, just keep them in and tank it, but maybe it's probably just best to swap because that's normally what someone would do. So we're going to do that. All right. Time to get serious. Me, Dad, you made me 
He heals. He heals. Whoa. <laughs> Man's not playing. I, I was not getting any... Van I wasn't getting any charge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. We're going to go back into him. So like I said, you're going to want to do the drift method. It's going to be your best friend. Alternatively, you could, like I said, you could do other methods. It doesn't actually matter what method you do. Just make sure that when you're doing it, you are actually doing the drift method and not losing timing. Because if you lose timing, you're going to get punished. And if you tell me it doesn't work, well, then you're just being bad at the game. So, you know, it's realistically just on you. So if you need help, let me know. Join my Discord. Alternatively, ask players for help in how to do it. Watch the video. Practice it. There's a lot of things that you can do to get better at it. It's just a matter of making sure that you actually are practicing it and practicing it properly. Anyways, with that being said, let's take a look. We got the Sparking Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So there you go. There he is. And we did it with the Rising Rush. Then we also got to clear it without the Rising Rush. It would also be simple without the Rising Rush, realistically. All right. Ooh, we got more. All right. So what's this next one? You get Goten as a first time reward. Got it. So we're going to... Okay. Zenkai 2 or Awakening or higher. Ooh. So that being said, I will now cut out. We're going to get him to Zenkai 2 or we're going to show you how to get him to Zenkai 2 and we'll go from there. All right. So we're here. So if you go to your missions and then click on events... You're going to see the Super Saiyan Gohan Teen Awakening Z Power Mission. So we're going to click on that and we're going to take a look at what we need. So you need to win five times using any sagas from the movie's characters. You got to do it three times and one time. You got to complete daily missions. What does daily mission mean? It means on your left tab, the daily, it wants you to complete all of this. And if you do that, it's going to say then that you've completed one daily mission. So that means that you got to do this over the course of 10 days. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You're going to also going to want to win with uh, 10 times using sagas from the movies 15 times as well you're going to want to ko a character 10 20 30 40 and 50 times so if you haven't played your ultra space time rush now is the time to do it if you have then in that case just play the game generally and you'll be able to get it done within that time now let me just accept this and then what i'm gonna do specifically and i don't suggest you do this but the, for the sake of this video I am going to get him to Zenkai 1, and then after that, what I'm going to do is I am going to probably spend 1,000 CC just to be able to get him onto to that Zenkai 2 that, you know, realistically, I didn't want to do it this way, but I'm going to do it this way <laughs> because um, it's just better off that way. So with that being said, I'm going to now cut out again. We're going to get him to Zenkai 2. Realistically, take your time with this. Don't do it immediately. I strongly urge you, or maybe just wait till I t take a look at this guy's Zenkai Awakening and how good is he, and to see if it's even worth it in the first place. That being said, we'll cut out now, and I'll see you there. All right, so one last thing before we get this uh, Gohan to Zenkai 2, because I do want to actually cover that, so that way you guys have access to how that would look like. I am going to also do this particular challenge without the Rising Rush. I want you guys to see how it looks like. I brought in a mono blue team. It's not perfect i did nerf myself quite a bit although obviously they're all pretty much 14 stars except for the gohan uh, although a lot of these units are also very free to play and they've been out for a while and since i am i've been a day one player and beyond so as a result it doesn't actually like i can't do anything about it even my free to play account which started around first annie has a lot of these units to 14 stars already so it wouldn't make much of a difference. Realistically, it just comes down to the method you use and nothing more. Uh, and I can show that to you guys. Obviously, stars can help, but they aren't the be and end all of it. Uh, I like this Krillin because he does heal. So that's like he heals the team, which is nice. And then Pan, if I use her ability, it can drop, I believe, a green card, which is nice. So we're going to use her. Alternatively, you can just put Deborah in your party and he will definitely get you tons of green cards. But I, I just like Pan, so I'm just going to pick Pan over him. So, yeah. It, it's just... 
Honestly, I could have picked way easier, like way better units to fight this event with, but eh, it's fine. All right, so let's do it. So first things first, you're going to want to dodge. So whatever he does first, just dodge it and go into a blast. Don't do strike. Don't do anything else. Just do blast. Then from there, you're going to want to drift to mid or alternatively stand and then launch. Stand, launch. And that's going to also work. That's called the standing drift, as I like to call it. And if you do get baited, tap attack, and then go straight in with another ratata wacha kachakawain, which is basically your, your strike. Just just click strike. And don't mind the glitching. Uh, I can't really do much anything about that. So we're going to go forward. We're going to just keep attacking him as if it's all normal. And we're just going to destroy him. So one thing... I'm not allowed to use the Rising Rush for this this fight, so just, you know, keep that in mind. Oh, he did a side. He did a side. Ah, oh, he got me, though. He got me. He got me. Boyo got me, but I'm going to tap attack him. Go straight with the blue, and then you can go straight in with the strike. Because, uh, yeah, it works that way, so <laughs> you can do that against the AI. I, I, I swear, please don't do that against, like, actual players. It usually doesn't work. All right, here we go. You know, oh, yes, he increased our uh, card cost. Now, in case that he tries to destroy your Gohan, you can always switch out and protect him, protect him. But generally speaking, from what I've seen, it doesn't do a lot of damage, so this is nice. But he is destroying our key restoration, so we're going to have to heal, like, heal up the key. And that's fine. I shouldn't have launched a blast, but it doesn't matter. We're going to just wait. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Now I'm going to do the infinite charge stuff. And we're going to go back to the standing char uh, standing drift. It's where I stand menacingly. That's, that's all I do. So as you guys can see, you just stand there and click. What I like to do is I like to count like one Mississippi and then click. You see? And that way, I know for sure that I'm going to actually hit him and get him. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. So in case that you're not good with the drift, do the stand drift. You know, it, it, that also works. All right. We're going to ratata and then give him the kachakakawakawan. There we go. And that should be the end of that fight. Yep. Just like that. So as you can see... He doesn't do a lot of damage, so I don't think this event will be too, too hard. But in case that he's dealing a lot of damage to you, the standing drift helps. The charge, infinite charge step helps. The uh, regular float step slash drift helps. There are things that you can do to beat it. And there you go. As a result, boom, 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 and boom. So now, with that being said, let's take a look. I have completed everything else. You have to make sure that when you're doing the kids and girl... You want to do only the two kids for each one, and then you're going to want to do the one girl. So the one girl you can pair up with anyone, but the two kids have to be on their own. So as you can see, I have everything gold starred. You want to have everything gold starred, meaning all the challenges completed. So just to show you again, complete all of the challenges. Otherwise, what has this all been all about? Like, why have you been doing what you've been doing? All right, so let's take a look at what other missions we've completed because of doing all of that. It's just super important to get that stuff done. It's just good habit because we do have challenges. You, it asks for eight challenges completed. We have completed eight challenges. So boom, and we get another limit break as a result. Bam, done. So now I have a nine star. That's nice. That's really nice. All right. And then in terms of like his Zenkai Awakening, let's see how much closer we are to that. Boom. So we are not there just yet. So what else do we have to do? We've got to KO our character 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, and 50 times. So that's what I'm going to do. And when I'm done that, I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. And we are now officially going to have a Zenkai 2 Gohan. Uh, I do not recommend that you do this unless you do plan to get him. And like I said, I am going to be making a video on whether or not I believe he's truly worth it. But otherwise... Um, just wait till you get him naturally throughout the event, especially if you don't main hybrids or sun fam. It's just not inherently worth it outside of the scope of that specifically. Obviously, though, when leader skills come out, 
that's going to change a lot of things in the way I have to approach this game. So that's just unfortunate, but that's kind of how life goes. So now we're going to go over here, because now we can do this, which is funny. Uh, so here we go. It's once again the same stuff. And yeah, we got a battle bonus character. So any of these characters that you do have, please use. Okay. But otherwise, I am going to be maining just the same team as before. We're going to do this time use Deborah over Pan. I just... I want to just switch it up a little bit. And obviously, you're going to have your Zenkai 2 Gohan. Now, just be aware, I did not panel boost him at all. So he is not panel boosted. He just has his Zenkai 2 just to fulfill the requirement to play the mode. That is it. I did not do anything else. So as a result, he is definitely going to underperform in this particular fight. And we're just going to you know, go through it just normally, you know, casually. <clears throat> so with that being said, let's begin. All right, so we're going to start it up. Yup. We're going to tap attack because I don't know if I perfect Vanish there. Okay, and we're just going to just drift. Yup. Beautiful. And then we're going to stand drift and go at him. There we go. Stand drift. Go at him. Yup. Stand drift. Go at him. He's going to heal up. That's annoying. I hate that, but... And we're going to go forward drift and break him. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Next bar. So we're going to do this one without the Rising Rush. Just so you guys can see how it's done without it. Now, as you can see, I haven't had to switch around, which does feel nice. As in, like, I haven't had the need to switch characters. So this has definitely been very, very useful for me. Okay, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Yep. Go that way. Absolutement. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay. Get that. Gonna tap attack. Follow like a look at Joe. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Ah, he's gonna hit us now. There's nothing I can do about it. Ow. Oh, wait. That's not really ow. That was nothing. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, that was my mistake. Okay, okay, stop, stop. Can we hit him? Nope, because I'm, I'm, I'm playing horribly, guys. Do not do what I'm doing. Wait for him to attack and then make your move. Please, don't do what I just did there. That was dumb. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to heal up for that one. Healing up, and we're also going to hit him. Yup. Switching over to Dabura. Get another... Yep, get that main ability in. We're going to dodge. Oh, he's going to hit us? That's fine. That's cool, that's cool. Okay. Yep. We're going to do infinite charge steps. Now, for the no rising rush... Be aware that you're most likely not going to be able to do it in the timer counts, especially if you're playing like me. <laughs> Normally, what I would definitely suggest, if you're trying to get it within the timer counts, the RR is kind of mandatory in this particular final part of the event, especially for his last bar. So save your RR for that or alternatively rebuild your RR for that specifically. And you're going to want to make sure your Gohan does not die. Otherwise, you lose. You just straight up lose. And here we go. Okay, can we not lose this? Okay, 975 to 941. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do one. And then two. And charge up. That's going to be a perfect vanish. We're going to go in. Go at him. Go in. Go at him. And just keep going and doing that. So as long as you're playing smart unlike me, you'll be able to do it. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. And give him the big chow. Nope. Oh no, don't do that, buddy. That's mean. And we're just going to end him right here. So obviously we did not do it within the timer counts, but we can easily show it to you in the next fight how to do it within the timer counts and with me playing less horribly. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'll see you right there. But first up, Goten. Um, yeah, so now we have him at three stars because I had him originally at two stars. Oh, wait, did I do it? I Oh, I did everything in the timer counts. Oh, oh, I thought I didn't. Oh, oh okay. So there you have it. So we got Goten. Um, we now have him. I wish that they gave it to us, you know, like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But it's still nice that they gave us something. I mean, it's an event. It's nice. We also are getting a free unit, an SP unit. It's old, but it's also getting a Zankai. And you're getting the first 2,000 free. So that's also nice. So overall, I can't really complain too, too much. It is nice that they are giving it out. But I do wish that they gave us like at least three stars for the Goten specifically. Unless I'm missing something, which in that case, we'll find that in just this moment. All right, so the only other place to get your Goten and you get 400x more is in this. So to do that, you got to specifically do a couple of things. You're going to have to KO any Broly character 10 times. So that's got to be done if you want to get this, uh, the X100. You're going to have to battle using a Goten Kid DBL1206S. If you guys are not sure what that is, I'm going to bring that up on the screen in just a moment so you guys can see which unit we're talking about. Uh, KO and win with Goten Kid, that same one. Ultimate Awaken skill three times. So if you're not aware who this is at this point, uh, it's kind of obvious. It's this Kid Goten, so you're going to have to wait until you have access to Zenkai 2 Gohan before you can do this. And then finally, <clears throat> you're going to have to raise this Kid Goten's friendship rank to 5 in order to get his last X100. So there you go. That's how you do it. This is the entirety of that event. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it's not too tedious for you. I don't think it's going to be too tedious. Honestly, I actually had a blast doing it. Although the fact that because of this guide, I had to spend 1000 CC just to get through it a lot faster for you guys. So you guys could see what to do. So... Kind of annoying on my part, but it was still very enjoyable regardless. So with that being said, guys, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to tickle the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe and click at the bell for more notifications so you never miss another one of my videos. Have yourselves a salty day, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you had a time, Phil G. Phil G.